Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Crafting with Sneha. Today we are going to solve a very interesting problem, which is running total of cells, but with a twist. In this problem, we need to calculate the running total of cells, but reset the total, but reset the total whenever cells drop compared to the previous day. Sounds in interesting, right? So we have a table sales data which contains two columns sales date, the date of sales, and sales amount, the amount of sales for that day. Okay, now let's look at the data. Our sales keep increasing till 200 right but on the next day sales drop to 180 right at this point we need to reset the running total so let's see how the running total works so here we start with 100 right on 2nd August, add 150 to the previous total, right? We start with 100, then on 2nd August, add 150 to the previous total, right? So, 250. Next, again, sales increased. So, we add 200 to the previous total, right? So, 250 to 200 equal to 450, right? But on 4th August, sales dropped to 180. That means we reset the running total and start fresh. So, the running total is now 180. Right. Next, on 5th August, sales increased again. So, we add 220 to 180. 220 plus 180 equal to 400. Right. Next, on 6th August, sales are still rising. So, we add 250, right? So, 400 plus 250 equal to 650, right? Now, 7th August, sales dropped again. To 230. Right. So now time to reset the running total. So we start fresh from 230. Right. Next on 8th August, sales increased to 300. So we add it. So 230 plus 300 equal to uh, 530, right? Next, on 9th August, sales increased, right? So, we add 350 to the total. So, 530 plus 350, right? Equal to Eight eighty, right? So whenever sales increase, we keep adding to the running total, right? But if sales drop, we reset and start again, right? I hope this is clear. Now pause the video here and try solving it yourself. Now. Let's solve this problem step by step. 
right? So our task is to find the running total, but reset the total when cells drop compared to the previous day, right? So our first step, So, our first step is to identify when cells drop. Identify when cells drop. Right. So, first we will select sales date, sales amount from Sales data. Right. Now here to identify when sales drop, we will use case statement. Case when sales amount less than lag sales amount over order by sales date then 1 else 0 end as a sales drop. Right. So here if sales amount if sales amount less than the previous day, it will calculate the previous day sales amount. Lag function calculate the previous day sales amount. So, if sales amount is less than the previous day sales, it means sales dropped. Right. So, we mark it as a 1. Otherwise, we keep it as a zero right now i will run this query and see in the output it will show three columns sales date next sales amount and in sales drop column which will be one whenever sales drop right Whenever cells drop, it will mark it as a 1. Right. And otherwise, it will keep it 0. Right. Now, I will make it as a CT with CT as Our next step is to create the reset group using some window function. Right. So, select sales date, sales amount from CT. Now we will use some window function. So some sum of cells drop over order by sales day. Here we will use rows between. Unbounded preceding and current row as reset group. So, what 
what does this do? So rows between unbounded preceding and current row means start from the first row and keep adding values up to the current row. So since the cells draw column has a in cells draw columns has a zeros and ones. So every time we get one, the cumulative sum increases, which creates a grouping number that increases whenever cells drop. Whenever cells drop, the cumulative sum increases. Right. So now I will run this query and see. It will create it will create groups in the reset group column and whenever cells drop, the cumulative sum increases. Right. I will add column cells drop here. Now I will run this query and see. Whenever whenever cells drop, whenever cells drop, the cumulative sum increases. Right. Now our next step is calculate running take sorry, calculate running total for each reset group. Right. This is our last step. So I will make it as a CD to Now we have to calculate running total for each reset group. Right. So for that, we will select sales date, sales amount, from CD2. Now, We have to calculate the running total for each reset group, right? So for that, we will use sum as a window function again. Sum sales amount over partition by reset group and order by sales date right as a running total so partition by Partition by reset group, it reset the total whenever cells drop. Right. And order by cells date, it calculates it calculates the running total within each reset group. Right. Now I will run this query and so in the output. In the output, it will show the sales date, sales amount and running total. Right. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.